Parar of you. Goddess of fortune. According to folklore legend, anyone touched by Araro will be rewarded with seven years of prosperity. One of the things I've noticed about, well, at least with the Irafada and this current film, is I like the way you bring the Yoruba aesthetics to the screen. Well, not just the Yoruba aesthetics, I would say the African aesthetics. You show our cloth, you show, you play the music. In this film, The Figurine, you actually the characters actually spoke in Yoruba and English. Um, well, did you do that for a particular reason? Did, why did you choose to do it that way as opposed to making it all Yoruba or well, all English? Yeah, well, I mean, Nigeria is a country with huge different ethnics and tradition and language, you know. So um, we're, not, we're not all Yoruba in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I'm not making a Nigeria film. I'm making an Africa film shot in Nigeria, made okay. by a Nigerian. So every film I make, I want it to represent the continent. Okay. I want it to, I mean, be seen as, you know, something coming out of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, I'm not, like my next film, I'm looking at doing something totally different. I mean, um, um, something out of, Yoruba, out of Igbo, out of Aosa, I can pick a minority tribe, mm -hmm. look at their story, you know, and do something on it. We have a whole lot of stories, you know, yet to be told. And we can even move outside Nigeria and go to other part of, you know, Africa and do collaboration and tell, you know, uh, our rich, rich stories. Um, that way your film is very original. In figuring, the music, they are original. They are originally mm -hmm. made. Um, they, I had a very good art designer, okay. I mean art director on set, um, who was in charge of all the art department, the costume, the makeup, and like two months or three months of the shoot, they all had a script. The, the, the makeup artist, you know, did her own design, she went to shop, all the places, all the scenes that required special effects on, on all that, she, you know, she pointed them out and she started working on them. The costumian, uh, the costumer broke down each scene and attached what each character will wear in every scene. This is a whole lot of work, and it mm -hmm. was all documented, you know. And I said to them, and during the the composer, when after the shoot, and I got people to compose, you know, music and all that, you know, they it was funny because the day I got to the studio, the first song they did was more like hip hop, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said to them that look. With this film, all I want to hear is drum, okay. gong, beat, something to depict Africa. Africa. You know, I care less about the song the, that comes out of their mouth. And that is why in the, the music in figuring really is not in any language. Mm -hmm. It's just chants yes. and sound and music. You know, and there's some languages we, I mean, there, there's this particular language we use as well, which was just created. <laughs> made up. You know, made up, <laughs> you know, so that, you know, we don't misrepresent, you know, um, our culture. You know, so for us, it is, is either done well or it's not done at all. And figuring is just the beginning of better things to come in Africa cinema. Yes, I, I totally believe so. So that kind of leads me up to the question about this deity, mm -hmm. Arara Romire. Yeah. Does this deity actually exist? And why did you use that, the, a deity as a subject matter for this current film? Well, OK, I'll start with the first question. Mm -hmm. The deity Arara Romire now exists because there's a film <laughs> titled Arara Romire. Mm -hmm. But in the Nigeria tradition, mm -hmm. in the Africa tradition, there is no deity by that name, so it was all created, you know. But right now, it's in people's sub mm -hmm, subconscious, mm -hmm. people who've seen the film. Um, and the reason behind such story is because um, we Africans attach so much blame to the gods, you know. If um, anything negative happens to you, it's devil or it's Satan. Mm -hmm. If something positive happens, you say, oh, Jesus, mm -hmm. or Mohammed, or, mm -hmm. or Ifa, or Shango, or something. And 
I said to myself, look, why not um, let's look at ourselves. Oftentimes, we are the cause of our predicaments. We are mm -hmm. the cause of our problems. You know, we do a whole lot of things without taking precautions. And when the result comes, we put the blame. We can say he's one of my father's wives. <laughs> or is he yale yami like, or something. Yeah. And um, you know, if you don't take precaution, certain things are meant to happen. It's just like one plus one is two. That is my belief. I'm not totally saying that, look, that is how it is. Mm -hmm. But everybody has got their belief. But sometimes I feel that, look, if you read, if you study well, you will pass. Mm -hmm. You cannot stay and not study and expect miracle to come, okay. except if you cheat, you know, so all these things are, you know, and the only way I can, you know, like, express myself is mm -hmm. to put that into audiovisual, which is what I know how to do yeah, yeah. with a bit of entertainment, you know, make it a film, because the reason why nobody will go to the cinema is to be entertained, entertained yeah. you know, stay there for uh, however long and enjoy yourself and come out, you know, fulfilled that, you know, you've enjoyed something. The film industry in Nigeria is termed Nollywood, mm -hmm. and depending on what statistics you look at, they yeah. say mm -hmm. we're the third largest producer of films in the world, or the second largest Even now producer, the second, yeah. you know, um, in between, you know, Bollywood, mm. the mm. Indian in industry, and mm. Hollywood. Mm. Um, how do you see the next generation of filmmakers taking this industry? Because you know, we've been through a lot of um, look, you know, we've been through a lot of issues and problems in the film industry. You know, the technical aspect hasn't been that great. It's improving mm. now. How, how do you see this industry growing in the, for, you know, for the future filmmakers and in the next like five to ten years? Well, I think it's a new phase. I mean, I think we've opened a new chapter with the film, like um, figuring with the films like uh, there's a Kenyan film I saw, um, Soul Boy, um, mm. uh, with some other f independently made African films. Um, Nigerian film industry, we just need to, you know, snap out of that believe that look because we are being tagged as the second um, um, country that made you know the highest number of film it doesn't make us the country that make the best of films sure, exactly. you know um, that's just about quantity not about quality mm -hmm. fine we've created a market which is a phenomenon we 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 put the name out there that there is an industry by that name but now we need to now concentrate more on the kind of quality because none of those so-called Nollywood films can get mainstream distribution anywhere. Mm. They can't even fit into big screen because they're shot in low quality, you know, with low lighting, no film ethics, no, you know, production value, you know, which is key as far as I'm concerned. But we can capitalize on the fact that we have created a market within the Africa, mm -hmm. you know, then set up a good distribution framework where all these films will, you know, go through, so that no matter how much your budget, you know, is, you know, or no matter how much you spend making a quality film, it will be easy for you to recoup your money back, you know, after release, a um, few weeks release of the film, you know. So we've opened a new chapter. The mm -hmm. era of Nollywood, Nollywood film, I think, died like last year. <laughs> You know, because even the producers in Nigeria now are looking at improving on, you know, what they're doing. Because they can't improve because um, they always, the film from production goes straight to, it's straight to DVD. DVD yeah. And that way you're killing yourself because your film is released today, it's pirated tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But we have to look at other avenue of, of recouping our money before releasing the film on, on DVD. Mm -hmm. For you to go to iTunes, for you to do pay-per-view on cable channels, the quality of your film must be good. So if the production value is being put into consideration, then I think we are ready to, to conquer the world. Yeah, and go to the next level. Yeah. <laughs>